Christchurch is a town in Dorset on the south coast of England. The town covers an area of around 20 square miles. Founded in the 7th century, it became known as Christchurch following the construction of the Priory in 1094. The town has an amazing history, from the English Civil War, 18th and 19th century smuggling, through to the Second World War and today's tourist hotspot. As you can imagine, Christchurch has a storied past of ghostly goings on. We're going to start with the town's most important building, the Priory, a vast building larger than 21 English cathedrals, with a length of 311 feet and a tower height of 120 feet. Dating back to the middle of the 11th century, the Priory was built on the site of an earlier church dating from 1800. The Priory and the gardens are said to be home for several ghostly monks that are seen to walk all over the grounds. Another spirit has been seen at the top of the tower staircase. The figure of a monk thought to be John Draper, who was the last prior, died in 1552, has been seen on several occasions at the entrance to the Draper Chapel. A ghostly funeral procession of monks carrying a coffin from the priory to the graveyard has been seen. Footsteps have been witnessed and incense has been smelt even though it hasn't been seen since the 16th century. Another spooky location is that of the Old George Inn. The inn dates from around 14th century. A priest hole was found during renovations. Inside was found a torn shirt, shoes and a pile of bones. Over the years, plates have been witnessed turning slowly on tables and flying off a wall. Wine bottles are gathered together by ghostly hands, and it is told of that of a grey lady walks throughout the building. With an amazing past, the inn boasts secret tunnels, love affairs and death. A favourite drinking establishment for royalist soldiers during the Civil War, one such soldier fell in love with the innkeeper's daughter Margaret. She fell pregnant and this angered her parliamentarian supporting father. He bricked her up and his grandson in the cheese pantry, leaving them to starve to death. In the dark of night, you can hear crying and scratching at the walls. For our last story, we turn to the former Georgian workhouse, which is now on Red House Museum. The museum deals with Christchurch's past from the Ice Age to the modern era. Dozens of people have detailed spectral sightings of all types, but don't worry, there are plenty of corners to escape to. From monks, soldiers, of former workhouse residents, this is a very haunted area. There are many reports of paranormal activity in Christchurch, from at least a dozen different locations, with a past leading back 1,200 plus years, there's no surprise some of Christchurch's former residents like to pop up and say hello now and again. I'd like to say thank you for watching, and to help the channel grow, please subscribe to the channel. It is free of charge and there is no commitment. I thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much and goodbye.